Hello everybody, this is a tribute video to Mark Balmer. It's mostly a compilation from his 100 day video blog of walking barefoot across America. If you want to skip to the footage of Mark, you can do that, skip ahead. I will not be offended, but I wanted to provide some context and introduction in case some of you are interested in that as well. If you didn't know Mark Balmer and his work, he was a poet, artist, and activist based in Providence, Rhode Island, and this past fall into the winter, he was setting out on a journey to walk barefoot across the United States from East Coast to West Coast. Uh, he was documenting it every day with video blogs and written blog and on social media. And he was raising money for an environmentalist group in Rhode Island named the Fang Collective, fighting against natural gas. And yeah, it was a pretty epic journey. Sadly, on January 21st, 2017, day 101 of Mark's journey, he was hit by an SUV that failed to maintain its lane and he died. The fundraiser that Mark was promoting during his walk for the Fang Collective raised a total of over $26,000. And since then, his parents have set up another fund called the Mark Balmer Sustainability Fund, which has raised thousands more since then. I had known Mark for a few years through the internet. I had met him once at a poetry reading in 2015 in Rhode Island when I was touring around to do all 50 states. And I got to know Mark a lot more in the last few months of his life though because the barefoot journey really caught my attention. I interviewed Mark for my Plant Liker podcast back in November, and then we would email occasionally after that. I would give him ideas like I would say, Mark, you should track all your steps with a pedometer and see how many steps you take in a day. 422, 423, 24, 25. Uh, Steve Roganbuck suggested that uh, I count my steps, so I'm counting them. He said I should use an app, but why would you use technology when you can just use your brain? Oh, shoot. I forgot. I lost count. I lost count how many steps I've done. And I said, Mark, you should record an endorsement for slamming the bonzos, which means eating garbanzo beans directly out of the can. Man. There's nothing like slamming the bonzos on a Wednesday night. I'm walking barefoot across America slamming some garbanzo beans. Nothing like starting the day with a can of garbanzo beans if you're walking across America barefoot. If you have to be alone in the corner of a motel room, it's great to have a can of bar garbanzo beans to slam. And one of my suggestions was that he should make compilation videos from his vlogs. Best of the first 50 days of crossing America barefoot. Or a compilation of every time someone has offered me shoes while I was trying to cross America barefoot. And Mark thought this was a good idea, but unfortunately, the way he was editing his videos while traveling, he was doing all his editing from his phone, which I found to be very impressive. But anyway, he deleted the clips after each day, and so he said that he wouldn't be able to do that kind of compilation until he got home after the trip. Of course, Mark never made it home, and there were many articles published about Mark after his death, and his last video, Day 100, has gotten quite a lot of attention, but I think many people, even people who loved Mark and his work, haven't taken the time to watch through the whole archive of vlogs from that trip. The complete 100 day vlog is about seven hours to watch from start to finish. And I personally think it's worth the seven hours. I would recommend it. If you want to go do that, just close out this video, go to Mark Bomber's channel, and start watching all 100 vlogs in a row. I thought it was very moving to watch through all of them in a row. But I also decided to compile a shorter version as a tribute to Mark, a compilation of moments that capture the ups and downs of the story and a lot of the best lines in about a one hour version. Obviously, it's not the same compilation that Mark would have made, but it's clear that Mark wanted to get more exposure for this work. He wanted a larger audience for the work. So I'm posting this here on my channel as a way to hopefully turn a few more of you on to Mark's work and do a small part in just anthologizing or archiving and calling attention to this work. If you feel moved by the video you're about to watch, please consider contributing to the Mark Balmer Sustainability Fund, link in the description, or alternatively, contribute directly to the Fang Collective, uh, the group Mark was raising money for on his trip. Enough introduction. Please enjoy the gift that is Mark Balmer's 100 day vlog of walking barefoot across America. 
All right, well, uh, be good, house. Don't fall apart while I'm gone. Oh, oh I, just, I just turned left onto Garfield Avenue. I'm on Garfield Avenue now. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm almost done. Whoa, whoa, cool, I'm on a trail. Where am I? I'm on a trail. Ha <laughs> ha, oh, this is so beautiful. Thank you, Earth. Ha <laughs> ha, it's Earth, look at Earth. Whoa, it's dark in here. Oh, well, at least I'm not alone. Whoa, where is everyone? I am alone. Ah! I really can't get much better than this. Oh, thank you. What a glorious day. What are you? Are you a cow? What? Are you a dog? Oh, it's a dog. Where did you come from, dog? What do I got all these stupid stores here for? <laughs> Whoa! This is how big my backpack is. That's how big my backpack is. Yeah, it's pretty good size. That's a this is kind of cool. This is really cool. What do you mean it's kind of cool? It's really cool. Look, there's a stream. There's real water and stuff. Whoa, there's something new everywhere. Oh no, this turtle got dead. This turtle got dead. Oh no. Who made this turtle dead? Why? Oh, poor turtle. I'm sorry, turtle. If you're worried about getting dead, then you gotta enjoy not being dead right where you are at this exact moment. And I am right here on a trail in the middle of the woods not being dead, so I gotta enjoy this. I do! I'm just sitting in the field, eating cucumbers and guacamole. While the sun sets. My life is beautiful. I made it to Connecticut. I, I, I'm, I did it barefoot too. Hey, look at this planet we done have. We done have this planet. We gotta, we can't, uh, yeah, we done have this planet. This is the only planet we done have. So let's not done do uh, the planet. Let's just. It doesn't feel good today. Um, yeah, there's a part of me that kind of thinks that the way I did it last time, the way I walked across America last time, just going forward every, every single day. Boom, boom, pounding it. It's just not gonna, that, that plan isn't gonna work this time. Mark, you need to start doing a better job storytelling, okay? No one understands what you're doing in any of these videos, okay? I'm the weird one, always wearing helmets. The places where you don't need helmets. And even though I'm that kind of guy, I'm not wearing a helmet right now. Yesterday I was ready to give up. And today, I'm back running. I don't, I don't know, this human, this human life that we have on this planet, it's not, it's, you can't really understand it sometimes. There's nothing special about this moment at all. I don't know why I took out the camera, uh, but as regular as this, it, this moment is, it's still really beautiful. Um, you know, it's tough to it's tough to for not to forget that uh, there's some really beautiful things in just our regular everyday life. This is the planet. This is where I live. I live on Earth. Welcome to my planet. You gotta get low. Get those knees working. Get those knees working. Get those knees working. Get those knees working. <laughs> sure exactly what I'm doing. But whatever it is, I'm doing it. Where did my life come from before it was my life? Let me drive. Uh, oh, it's a dead end. This economy is a dead end. I don't know why anyone would want to buy hot dogs. You're not making any sense in your videos and no one can follow along, so no one's going to watch them, okay? But, uh, but I don't know how to do a video. Whoa, Duck Island Yacht Club. Hey, how do they do a uh, yacht Right there. You tried, you, you didn't make any sense. You started yelling about some yacht club but then you didn't say anything about it. If you want to create a story that people will follow, then you need to craft it, okay? Now try and craft a story. Here we go. Day six. Mark Palmer's running across America. Look at him go. Look at him move. There's a chance that some people haven't touched dirt with their feet in years. You know, you put on shoes when you leave the house. You don't take them off till you get back to the house. Your house is an apartment. Your apartment doesn't have an outside. Yeah, you might not touch, this, you might not touch the dirt in years. Seems like this pipe's made out of wood. Yeah, another, uh, yeah, I think that's another wooden pipe. Why, why would you need a gun or an ammo? Uh, I still love what, I still believe and love what America could be, okay? But we need to get some damn solar panels on every single house in America. You think you'll make it? What? You think you'll make it? The guy who crossed an American barefoot. <laughs> you think you'll make it? Just up your foot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make it? All right, cool, thanks. Who's that girl hiding behind that tree? Oh! It's Chuck E. Cheese's! Oh, Chuck E. Cheese's! Yeah, my brain's just, uh, I think, a little afraid I won't be able to do this. I'm getting a little sad. But that's all good. You know, you gotta go towards the fear. If there's uncertainty, you gotta go towards that. If you go into Taco Bell and yell, I've got the hookup, you get a free taco. Uh, I don't want a free taco, especially not for Taco Bell, but I want to see if this works. Whoa. Hey, I've got the hookup. I've got the hookup. Do I get a free taco? 
Do I get a free taco for her? You know what? Taco Bell? No! No, Taco Bell! You don't got the hookup! I got the hookup! I got some raw cashews! I've got the hookup! You don't got no freaking hookup! I wonder what type of crap they're gonna put in here to sell to the- Oh no, this poor B! This poor B! It's not gonna make it! Get back to your hive! Get back to the honey! You not love me. I'm stuffing my face with spinach and I'm walking barefoot across America! What's not to love? You might call what I'm doing stupidity. Well, I call it intelligent. You think he'll make it? The guy walking across, across country barefoot. I think he'll make it. He'll make it? He'll make it. Alright, cool. The cool thing about uh, this whole cross country thing is that if it's successful, no one loses. The number of net victories in the world goes up by one. But when you have two opposing sides going against each other, and one side loses and one side wins, then the net, vic the net victories in the world doesn't doesn't go up or down it stays the same so it's cool when you're in situations where you can you can increase in net victories in the world if i ever write a book about this journey it's definitely going to be called the excellence of doing stuff on earth with your body and you can too Stanley kubrick's uh hanging outside of a whole foods on friday night looking at pumpkins yeah what's he doing with his life he just thinks he's better than me doubt it someone called the police on me again they saw me walking barefoot and instead of actually asking if i needed help they called the police to help me all right, people. It's being done. Right this moment, it's being done. Put some shoes. Uh, put some shoes on. You're embarrassing the whole family. I don't get it. I don't get it. Just put on a shoe. Just put on a shoe or something. Just put on at least one shoe. Could you just put one shoe on, please? Ooh, Jesus. Look at this. Look at this place. What's this thing? Hello. Yeah. Hey, dead people. Hey, dead people buried in the cemetery. Do you think you'll make it? Do you think you'll make it? You know, the guy walking barefoot across America. You think you'll make it? Check, check out that bench. That bench is hot. Man, that's a hot bench. I'm glad I didn't give up. I'm so glad I didn't give up when my foot hurt. When I hurt my foot and it started to swell up. I really thought, man, that's the end. But it wasn't. It'll never be the end. You gotta push through it. You'll bounce back. More crap to fill up. Some more crap to sell crap to the craps. I wonder what's in here. Oh, that's where the Kleenex were. Oh, I wonder what's in here. Oh, that's where the Kleenex were. I was looking for them. Oh, I wonder what's in here. Oh, that's where the coffee pot was. I was looking. I was looking for that. Oh, that's where the Kleenex were. I was. I was looking. I was looking for. Th I love decorative cabbage season. Who's that goblin running around barefoot? The guy just came up to me and said, "Seriously, seriously, seriously, guy, put some shoes on. Seriously." I feel very blessed to be walking around New York on such a nice day cramming spinach down my throat. Hey, they got decorative cabbage. It's decorative cabbage season here in Times Square. Hey, do you think you'll make it? Do you think you'll make it? Hey, do you think you'll make it? Hey, do you think you'll make it? Hey, do you think you'll make it? Do you think you'll make it? Hey, do you think you'll make it? Hey, do you think you'll make it? On a bridge! Holding a banana! Come to my pizza party! Hold the pizza! Look at that boy go! Look at that boy go! I'm just hanging out on a bridge on a Thursday, barefoot, somewhere in between New York and New Jersey. I'm on a river! There's a river below us! A river! A real flowing wet river! It's down there! I'm here! You're there! My feet have gone a little numb. Uh, seems okay though. I can still move them. I can still move my toes, but they're getting a little, a little numb. Uh, I'll probably stop at some point, cut them off, eat them. Yeah. Hey, I thought you were, I thought you were plant-based vegan. You can't eat your own feet, dude. I'm plant-based vegan, feed, vegan. I'm plant-based vegan. You know, I'm plant-based except when I eat my own feet. New York was cool, but you know, I saw a lot of great people. It was so, it made my heart fill up with so much kindness that I saw so many people I knew. But deep down. I think I really, I really love being the barefoot guy walking alone talking to a camera. That's what I truly love. I'm walking to a school because someone asked me to talk to their school today about what I'm doing. I'm not really sure what I'm going to tell the children. I, some part of me wants to say, hey, don't ever own a car. And if your parents own a car, then you should burn it. As awful as this experience is, walking next to these large trucks, it still manages to be beautiful. I think so far on this bridge, I've taken a very pessimistic view of the world. But I have to do everything possible within my power to remain optimistic because pessimism will destroy us all. Thank you, bananas.
I've walked from Providence, Rhode Island to Newark, New Jersey, barefoot, but I still kind of feel like a fraud, like somehow I'm, I've cheated or I'm not doing it right. Wow, look at the sky! It's filled with stuff! Leaves! It's beautiful! Look at this! It's like I'm on an episode of The X-Files. Something's gonna happen. Oh man! We're near a corporate center! Oh, no wonder I feel like crap! This sports court, these sport, this sports court is real good. There hasn't been a day yet where, I, at some point, I haven't felt like a failure. Um, you know, I feel all the emotions when I'm out here. If you want to feel all your emotions, then you should try walking barefoot across America. Because I'm definitely feeling, I definitely feel all my emotions. Each, I definitely feel each one of my emotions every day. Statue of a white man. It looks like it's George Washington. Hey, George, why don't you stop having statues built of you? I haven't really done anything for Halloween. I thought maybe I would wear a mask while I walked, but I never got a mask. Still haven't quite figured out why I'm out here. I mean, I know I'm doing this to raise awareness for climate change and try and raise $10,000 for the fan collective, but there's something deeper driving me to do this, and I'm not sure why. Whoa, they got a lot of pumpkins just hanging out. Oh, wait, it's not Halloween anymore. What are they going to do with all those pumpkins? Now they'll never, now they're never going to have nothing to do. It's strange, you know, I'm out here, it's in the complete dark, I don't got any shoes on, but there's not, I, I, maybe I'm too tired, but I'm not really afraid of anything. Um, you know, cars are coming within a few feet of me, and it just, it doesn't even, I don't know, I'm not, yeah, the fear just isn't there or something. I heard it, I heard a new coffee shop opened up near my house in Providence. I guess I I guess I might go home. I yeah. Yeah, I guess this trip's over. No reason to continue. I got a coffee shop next to my house near my house now, so I can just go hang out there. Oh, I found him. Look. I found him. Here he is. Oh, thank you. Come on, let's go home. Come on. At first I was like, "Hey, it's my dad. There's my dad." And then I was like, "Nope, that's just a giant head." He gets paid. He gets paid, he gets paid, he gets paid. Now, these people aren't paid. These people had to pay. They had to give the money, but he gets the money that they, they, they gave him. Yeah, so he they're all getting paid, except these people up here don't. They gotta pay, they pay the money. So that's what baseball is, okay? Only 2,815 more miles to Los Angeles. Like, there's no reason to have tanks, none. And you wanna, like, the only reason is like, cause you're afraid and you want to like, not share. The only reason you have tanks is because people are afraid and they don't want to share. Just look at that! Look at that! Can't be real. Let's look at it. It's that's not real. I like it when I am walking along and I can just hear the leaves, like blowing across the road. I'm right here, a foot specialist. Should I stop in and have them see if my feet are special? I think I just crossed into Pennsylvania. Why does everyone want to go to Mars? I love life on this planet. Like. There's so much to do here. Why are we going to Mars to do stuff? You do anything special for to celebrate making it to Pennsylvania? Yeah, I, I ate two cans of two can, I ate two cans of beans. Walking barefoot through America, eating red chard. Me and my red chard walking barefoot through America. The sight of a man walking down the street barefoot eating a can of beans is the most beautiful sight you can see in America. Today's probably been the best day of the trip so far. I know I said that yesterday, but today's good. I don't even know what it is, but. Look at this, like, look at the sun. Look at, uh, look at where I get to hang out all day. <laughs> Welcome to my office. I'm just eating some beets and thinking about how, how I love everyone. I love everyone, even the ones I don't love. It's a venture capital. If I get a hundred million in venture capital, then I can give, hey, you got a hundred million in venture capital I can have? No, sir. Ah, uh, that's what I'm gonna go for. There you go. If I get a hundred million in venture capital, then I'll give it to the fan collective. They save the earth. Well, that's a great business plan. Well, today I'm, Meeting someone I've never met before, they're I guess gonna walk with me for a little bit. You're going barefoot too? Yeah, I'm gonna do a shot. All right, Chase. cool. I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Chase uh, goes to Yale, and I was wondering what Trump supporters were like at Yale. Yeah, I don't even know where to get started. I think Carl supports Trump just because Carl, Carl enjoys being offensive. Day, different can of beans. Another day, another can of beans. <laughs> if you're looking to lose weight you could crawl on the back of that truck what is this 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 what are you doing hello no i'm good i'm going barefoot are you sure yeah thank you though okay. i appreciate it okay. well, that was nice someone uh offering to give me a pair of shoes but if people ever look at me and they're like oh man 
Obama's ruined this country. Now we got people walking around barefoot all the time. This is the sky, and it smells like poop. Wait, is is Trump gonna win? If Trump ends up winning tonight, doesn't matter, okay? It just means you gotta go out and fight for the issues you care about even stronger than you would have otherwise. One guy said I'm bleeding out my eyeballs and ears. I couldn't put my phone down. Just a lot of people angry and pain. But I'm still gonna walk tomorrow. Gonna keep walking. And everyone who's feeling pain, anger, I love you all. You'll be okay. Hang in there. Just keep pushing forward. My body is a machine built to force so much compassion and love and kindness on this wor into this world that human life has no choice but to thrive and flourish. Maybe I should take over that riverboat and start my own country. Everyone's invited. Just trying to let everyone know that human-induced climate change is real. We gotta do something. Let's 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 make some changes. Uh, maybe get rid of your car. Maybe don't fly as much. Uh, one of the easiest things you can do to uh, help the environment is to stop eating animal products. You could have a huge impact if you just stopped eating meat. I mean, that's why I stopped, and I feel great. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm crossing America barefoot. Some guy stopped and tried to give me shoes, and then I said, oh, no, I'm going barefoot across America. He's like, oh, well, what for? And I was like, I'll raise awareness about climate change. And then he's like, what? I don't get it. Yeah, he said, you know, human-induced climate change. It's a real thing. Uh, science backs us up. And he's like, oh, I don't believe in it. I think it's more like government-induced climate change. And I said, uh, no, it's actually, uh, it's us. It's, it's humans. Yeah, even if it was government-induced, uh, <laughs> humans run the government. So anyway, so I just kept bringing up all the science. You know how temperatures are rising, ice, the uh, glaciers are melting, uh, storms, tropical storms are getting worse and worse. And yeah, eventually I was like, hey, man, you know, yeah, you don't believe in it, but you, you know, you should contribute to, you should at least put some money where, throw some money towards this cause. And he's like, all right, I'll give you a dollar. So I got a dollar. How about that? I got a dollar to fight climate change from a guy who doesn't believe in climate change. Ah, uh, they put a nice little pic, they put nice stuff there. When you're barefoot, if you drop things on your foot, like a, like a crumb or like a, a little juice drips out of a piece of fruit, then you'll feel it. Do you like almonds? Here, are you ready? Here. Someday we're gonna look at things like this and then we're just gonna be confused. Uh, the best thing you can do with your life is just be alive. Find a way to be alive every single day. If you make a commitment every day to feeling as alive as possible, even if something kills you, they can't take away all the days you felt alive. You're something special, aren't you? Earth feels pretty perfect right now. This is like the, I think this is the most perfect moment I've ever experienced on Earth. Oh, it looks like we've reached the part of the day where Mark yells for no reason. Ah, I can almost touch that stuff. I found a boat stick. Look at this boat stick I found. Yeah, that's a real big flag. I wonder how long that would take to burn. I've been doing this for a month. I'm off the barefoot walking across America. Whoa, that, that motel has color TV. Ow, 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 ow. Each day is a little bit of a struggle, but it's important to remember we all have the tool of love. And I know that can sound corny or dumb to some people, but we all deep down have a tool of love. Love your feet. Love the, love the ground that your feet are touching. Love your own body. Love other people's bodies. Love everyone. Love is the greatest tool we have that humans are capable of. And yeah, I just want to keep repeating that to myself every single second I'm alive. Hey, are you guys hunting dolphins? So yeah, it's been definitely a few weeks since I've, someone's, I've gotten a hug from someone. Oh, I just walked past a dead deer. It's behind me. Yeah, just being out here next to cars, it's just... I want them to like realize that I have more of a right to this road than they do. If you own a car, you have to remember it's a death machine. There's another dead deer back there. There's been a lot of dead animals. Dead cats, dead squirrels, dead possums. Oh, my feet look terrible. <laughs> oh, oh man, my God. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You know, it's just still amazing that this morning I was like, my feet just hurt. I didn't know what to do. I was like, is it oh, is every time I start to question the trip, like, can I continue? Is this trip over? I I keep pushing forward, and it feels so good not to give up. One of the most difficult parts of this trip is uh, 
just not really talking to people. You know, the longest conversation I had today was in the motel lo in the hotel lobby this morning, when one of the uh, hotel employees told me that I, if I wanted to eat eat breakfast in the con in the in the lobby, I had to wear shoes. All right, looks like I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping in this abandoned school bus for the night. Hopefully, no one kicks me out. I'm gonna shut this off. In a quest to defeat the evils of capitalism, one man decided to remove his shoe. I had some people tell me, "What you're doing isn't gonna save anything." That might be true, but part of the reason I'm out here is I didn't know what else to do. I wish there was a way that to get the pipeline built, the people that are building the pipelines had to fight as hard as the people fighting against the pipelines are fighting, because they, the pipelines would never get built. Oh, I found my bagel! I can go home now! Ah, get out of here! Ah, see you later, bagel! It's real tough not to worry about things that don't exist. But the things I'm worrying about don't exist. Right now, the only things that exist is like the sunshine, me walking. So there's absolutely nothing for me to worry about because everything I'm worrying about doesn't exist yet. And this second right here, nothing is stopping me from doing what I'm doing. So there should be no worry about what might someday stop me from what I'm doing. But it's tough to get rid of those worries. I'm still battling. Every second I'm battling that. I'm not sure if they ever goes away or not, but I keep trying to tell myself nothing this second right here on this earth at this moment is stopping me from doing what I'm doing. It's the artist's responsibility not to forget about earth. <laughs> it's funny, like an hour ago, I was worried, like I was worried about where I would find food next, but just being around, just being around these trees, I just, it's nice to just enjoy the trees and not worry about anything. If we don't do something about climate change though, Penguins are gonna go extinct! They're not gonna exist! Penguins, people! I don't wanna live in a world where penguins don't exist! Should I try and take this motel, this artwork from the, my motel room with me? Someone should invent a new social media where the only two options are a question mark or exclamation point. You need a ride, I think. I'm good, I'm walking. Yeah, I think you need a ride. Nah, I'm walking, sorry. Why don't you get some shoes on? I'm just going barefoot. You're gonna catch pneumonia and die. We'll see, I, I'll see how it goes, but uh, yeah. I'm going barefoot for right now. Sure. Definitely. I appreciate you stopping though. It means a lot that you stopped and checked. Walking in the cold is better because, uh, yeah, my feet don't hurt as much because I can't feel them as well. <laughs> really enjoying today. Uh, yeah, I was a little worried when I got up. I'm always a little worried when I get up. I'm like, how am I going to do this? Then I go out and start doing it. And it feels nice. And I'm glad that I, got, that I went out and started doing it. What is going, like, I don't even know how this is happening right now. How did I get to this point? I mean, there's snowflakes everywhere. It's 30 degrees. I just walked 17 miles. What are you doing? Just go for it. I'm going. Uh, I'm going cross country barefoot. So. Is that right? Yeah. But look at this guy. He took his boots off his own feet and he was gonna give them to me. That's amazing. Yeah. So, All right, thank man. you very much. Yeah. That person. That person just tried to give me his own boots. He was gonna go the rest of the day in socks. That's what I'm talking about. I love it. I love the kindness I've been witnessing so far on this trip. You need. You see someone in need? Help them out this second. We got a big one today. We got 20, 27 miles to do. Uh, yeah, definitely the biggest day of the trip. Uh, definitely feeling a little scared about today. You can scare yourself into not doing anything sometimes. Yeah, I guess this is the top of the Allegheny Mountains. The sun, the sun that went down. Um, I've walked 15 miles so far today. I still have 12. I still have 12 more miles to go. Still going. Um, 10 miles left. I've walked 17 miles today. Uh, still got like three miles to go. I made it. Um, it's like 1, 1 a.m. Uh, because I decided to take today off. Um, and I'll be, I guess, walking, yeah, I'll be, my plan's to walk tomorrow on Thanksgiving. Um, I decided to have my Thanksgiving feast tonight, on Wednesday. Wednesday feast. Snow peas, uh, red pepper, a zucchini, a mango, uh, cantaloupe, some figs, uh, broccoli, blackberries, Brazil nuts, uh, sun-dried tomatoes, um, pumpkin seeds, dates, and garbanzo beans. Yeah, I got garbanzo beans. Now I can, sl I can, now I can slam the bonzos. Black eyed peas, I can slam the black eyed peas. I got black beans! Blam, blam, the blam, blams! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's try the date! Oh my god! Crossing America barefoot on Thanksgiving! Someone just honked at me. Um, doesn't feel good to be honked at. If you own an automobile and you use an automobile, share the road. I'm a little sad I haven't raised more money yet for the, um, for the fan collective, the group in Providence that I'm doing this walk for. Um, it's a little discouraging. You know, I thought I would have built up a bigger following by now, posting videos each day, but... So far today, I think, um, I think, I think four people have offered me sh shoes, and, um, at least three of those people had gone out and bought me shoes. If I took every, every pair of shoes that people offered me, I'd already, like, 
I already have like a couple backpacks full of shoes. So. Hey, do you want to mind sharing the road? I have a right to the road as well as you. Just because you're in a death machine doesn't mean you yeah, have... Somebody will effing kill you. We want the road a little bit. Share the road, please. Alright, I'm kind of tired of automobiles. I deal with them all day. I'm going to be dealing with them for months. But, uh, you're in your automobile. Don't yell at me about what I'm doing with my life when it's up to you to control your automobile. It's your automobile. Don't say, you're in the road, you're going to get killed. No, you're in an automobile, you're going to kill someone. I, I'm not going to die because I was walking on the road. I'm going to die because someone in an automobile couldn't control their automobile. People always say, you're not wearing shoes, like, you're going to you're gonna die, like, you're going to cut your feet, or, like, you're going to get sick and get pneumonia. Not wearing shoes, like, the honest truth is, I'm not going to die. If I die on this trip, it's not going to be because I didn't wear shoes. It's going to be because an automobile kills me. Like, that's where I'm putting myself in danger. Anytime you walk near automobiles, you're putting yourself in danger. And that's what's, like, that's what's <laughs> the most dangerous part of this trip. All right, we're on to day 45, Barefoot Across America. We've done 506 miles. We're over 500. All right, I think I finally know why I, I think I'm ready to tell everyone why I'm doing this thing the way I'm doing it, okay? This is why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. It's because it's cause I want to be a real life art, I want to be a real life art person, okay? That's what I want to be. I want to be a real life art person. Um, no, I'm good. I appreciate it though. It means a lot when people stop and check on me. All right. He said I'm going viral. He said I'm going viral. Oh yeah, this dude's awesome. He's crossing the country with bare feet. Some lady, after I told her what I was doing, she gave me a hug and said, I love you. And it made me feel really nice. It made me feel real nice. It made me want to tell other people I love them. Tell everyone I see I love them. You guys coming to the party? You guys are so friendly. It's friendly cows. Oh, you guys are the best. I love you guys. I love you guys. You you watch out for yourself, so don't let anyone eat you, okay? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, yeah! <laughs> I love you. I'll pick, I think I'll take this with me. It's a nice lamp. I don't think they'll miss it. Well, thank you, but um, I'm actually going bare. Oh, it's just tough today. I need help, but the thing I need help with, no one else can do but me. <laughs> hey, this guy heard of me on the internet. Well, I sort of want a barn. I want a barn that no one else wants. If someone else wants this barn, then I don't want it anymore. I want a barn that no one else wants. That field only has one cow. Look, there's only one cow in that field. Wait, is that a cat? Dad? Dad? Dad, what are you doing here? Where, dad? Oh, you're, you're not my dad. There's sheep and little cuties here. Hey, oh. Look at this good walking stick I found. It's not enough to just throw your hands up and say, I'm depressed, it's hopeless. It's not about you. It's about the future of this planet. I should I should do something real so funny that everyone can start everyone cares a lot about the environment and then they give all their money to save Earth. Oh boy! Uh oh! Uh oh! Mark's getting excited! Whoa! Did anyone did anyone lose did anyone lose their vacuum extension? Yeah, I think if you lost your vacuum extension, it's right here. If you lost your car thing, it's right here. Oh no, there's a dead cat over here. It's there, people! That kindness is deep! It's there inside you! Well people are kind! Unleash it! Unleash your inner kindness! I think I just walked into West Virginia. <laughs> this is what this is what West Virginia's like. This is cool. They got Neil Diamond on the TV. Some lady stopped and uh, asked, why don't you got any shoes? And I said, well, I'm actually going cross-country barefoot to raise awareness for the environment and about climate change. And she says, all right, well, <laughs> and drove off. So, I, yeah, I think I get the sense. A few people, a few people have kind of, like, been concerned about me not wearing shoes. And then when I mentioned that my cause is the environment and climate change they've kind of like lost interest immediately yeah i've been sad um just there there was a fire in oakland last night and a bunch of people in this artist community died so i've been reading a lot about that and it's been making me sad but at least i did a bag of tr cantaloupe i did a trash bag full of cantaloupe hello i did a trash bag full of cantaloupe tonight um yeah i've just been reading some more about the fire in oakland um, and they still haven't. And, um, yeah. And my friend Dick is still missing. Uh, still just really, uh, really sad by what happened in Oakland. 
yeah, no news yet about uh, my friend. One thing he had said was, uh, he said, you know, <coughs> when you make it to California, we'll go bowling. <laughs> so, I gotta make it to California. Yeah, he said, we'll find a good bowling alley, I'll meet you there. <sighs> well, I made it, I made it to uh, Ohio. I'm in, uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in Bridgeport, Ohio. Um, I just woke up a little while ago and, uh, yeah, I saw in the news that, um, yeah, that my friend Nick was one of the, officially one of the people that died in the Oakland fire. So, um, Nick, I love you. I miss you, and it hurts that you're gone. Uh, it's funny. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm currently out front of a Walmart on a Tuesday, crying, barefoot. Uh, yeah, so I'm still really devastated by what happened, what happened to my friend Nick, but in many ways, um, you know, he created this moment right here, the, this moment where I'm, I'm barefoot out front of a Walmart on a Tuesday, crying. And um, as much as I miss, as much as I miss you, Nick, the rest of the world misses you. Thank you for all the moments you've given me and the moments you'll continue to give me as you live on. I know it's been really hard. Uh, it's been really emotional the last couple days, but I feel so fortunate to just be out here walking. Yeah, I just thank you for whoever let me do this. This, San this Santa is really creepy. Look how creepy the Santa's eyes are. Well, it's definitely cold. One of the coldest days my feet have felt just because of the rain. Everything it just holds a, it just holds a cold close, but uh. Just gotta keep telling myself it's okay. Oh, cool. Vice tweeted about my trip. Oh, cool. What are people saying? Oh, wait. People don't believe in climate change? This guy doesn't think I voted. This person thinks I'm gonna get frost. Oh, this person thinks I'm on un I guess this guy drives a truck. I guess this is something. Oh, this person wants to join me. Come on. Come out. This person thinks I'm a white person. Oh, yeah, that's kind of true. Here's another person saying I need to get a job. Here's someone calling me lazy. Here's someone saying, must be nice to have that much free time. I wonder if it's still raining outside. Where's the window? So you got no windows here. Yeah, you could be feeling really good about the day walking along. And then you just remember a, a giant, beautiful, loving piece of the world recently got removed and it's just tough not to... Such a strange world we live in. I'm just out here in December, somewhere in Ohio, walking down this dirt road. It feels like I'm in a video game. Oh no, it looks like the audio broke. Oh, what am I gonna do? The whole video is ruined. No! Oh well. I think I was just basically talking about how the government wants to kill us all because they keep on doing really bad things to the environment and whatever. What are you, got, what are you all doing? What you all doing? You in a business meeting right now? Well, uh, water's frozen in my, uh, yeah, my, my water's frozen. <laughs> how was work today? How was work? Ah, uh, it's nine o'clock. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, still 11 miles to go. Bye, Bill. Ah, uh, I made it, I made it, I'm, I made it. What time is it? It's three, it's 3 a.m. I just finished walking. After yesterday's epic long walk of 30 miles in the dark through the snow and yeah, everything, I just decided, my feet couldn't move today, so I decided to just hang out and do another off day. I've already had a few people honk at me, and it just makes me realize that people just don't have, you know, when you honk, you're like, I have no empathy for a person walking on the side of the road. This is my road, and I cannot share it. I was, I was afraid to come out today. I was afraid to go outside and just start walking barefoot. Um, I just had to keep reminding myself this is bigger than just me. My journey across the country is a metaphor to not give up. You know, you read the news and you see a guy like Scott Pruitt named to the head of the EPA and he doesn't believe in climate change. And then you see news of the CEO of ExxonMobil maybe becoming the Secretary of the State and you think, how, how can we possibly defeat that much power? How can you defeat the oil industry when all of their people are in power? And all I can say, I don't know the answer. But don't give up. Keep fighting. There's so many days when I just want to give up. Just, like, but I just go out and I keep walking. And every day I, I go out and walk, I'm so thankful that I didn't give up. Oh. I guess it snowed. Keep doing you, man. Keep doing you. Do it. Keep doing you, man. Oh, I guess, I guess we're in Muskingum country. 
Old Gary's out doing a little snow plowing out in front of the gun shop today, huh? Hey, Gary. Uh, uh, how do you do this? How do you do something? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard. It's hard to believe, you know, I, you know, like a couple, you know, a couple weeks ago, I just was like, um, like kind of a nobody. And yeah, and you know, now that, now that I've made it, people are always asking me, you know, like, what's the purpose of life? And I'm kind of like, yeah, that's a good question, but I you definitely, you know, I definitely got the answer. You know, like the purpose of life is, you know, to tell other people who don't ha know the purpose of life what the purpose of life is. And, you know, that's basically what I've been doing now, you know, just going around telling, you know, people that don't have a clue what the purpose of life is, I go around and tell them, you know, what the purpose of life is. Uh, obviously didn't walk, didn't walk today. Well, it's, uh, it's definitely snowing today. Um, I'm not walking, I mean, I'm outside right now, but I'm, I actually spent the whole day in a motel. So, yeah, temperatures are supposed to drop down to like, Five degrees Fahrenheit, so. Just sitting in this bathtub, trying to figure out what's next. Talk to my grandmother, talk to my aunt. One said, you don't got nothing to prove. And the other one said, Grandpa would be so proud of you. It's really tough to know what to do next. It's real cold out. And I just kind of sat in this motel room for the last couple days and I kept thinking, this trip's over. No way I'll ever get done, get be able to continue it now. But that kind of all switched today and I, I feel, I feel pretty good that it's gonna continue. Living at zero miles per hour in a motel room somewhere in Ohio where no one tells you what to do but you, I can't imagine a more perfect way to live, especially if you got a giant can. Uh, this is how Bob De Niro will eat a can of pumpkin. Uh, this is what Chuck Sheen looks like when he's trying to eat a can of pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, this is how James Jarmusch eats a mushroom. Oh, for much of my little boyhood, I live with my mom and dad. Yeah, I think I'm going to start the trip over. Go back to the Atlantic Ocean. I just think I walked myself into a situation I can't walk myself out of. One of the things I've been proud of this entire trip is I haven't been inside a, a motor vehicle the entire time. And Yeah. Well, I guess I'm on a bus now. I'm taking a bus down to Jacksonville, Florida. I'm starting the whole trip over. <laughs> uh, sometimes you try and do something and it doesn't quite work out, but you shouldn't give up. You should just, I guess... Start over. Try it. Try to do it again, but do it a little different. Hey, that man's touching that sign. He's a sign toucher. We just need to push it in some. Well, I made it to Jacksonville. This this building is for sale. Bobby Gatling is selling it. I don't know if I trust Bobby Gatling. He sounds like he's a bad man or something. I mean, deep down, he probably has a good heart, but you know, capitalism destroys a lot of good people. Yeah, I guess they're into camels or something. Feels good to be back out here. Walking barefoot across America. This is how J Jimmy Franco would eat kale if he was 85 years old. It's too bad they value uh, profit over human health and uh, yeah, the wellness of humanity. Oh no, Terry, Terry, you lost your hat, Terry. Terry, you, you lost your hat, it's right here. I just uh, walking along on my birthday with a bag of kale. Whoa, what are you gonna do with all that kale, Mark? Oh, I'm gonna eat it and celebrate life. What do you think I'm gonna do? Whoa, look at this birthday, look at this birthday cake I got. It's nothing but grapes and blueberries. Mark, that's not a birthday cake. That's just you holding some, a container of grapes and blueberries. What? Hey, you're nice. You're a nice dog. All right, uh, banana number one. Bana banana number two. Banana, banana number three. Banana, banana number four. Banana number five. Banana number six. Banana number seven. Banana number eight. Banana number nine. But Mark, aren't you afraid of dying if you eat too many bananas? Yeah, I would love to die from eating too many bananas, but I don't think it's possible. Banana number 10. Up, oh, banana number 11. Banana number 12. Banana number 13. Is this a good book? Banana number 14. Banana number 15. Banana number 16. Banana number... Whoa! <laughs> banana number 17. Banana number 18. 18. Banana number 19. Banana number 20. What is that? Oh. Banana number 21. We've raised $6,000. We've done it. I'm definitely feeling it today. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling it today. I think the 21, tw the 21 bananas really, uh, really carved me up. I'm carved up right now. Save the world with your feet. Save the world with your mouth. Save the world with your heart. Save the world with your hands. Save the world with your brain. Save the world with every piece of your body until you don't have a body no more. I guess this is where you hang out if you work at KFC. Well, there's a large thing, a large automobile. A, a large, useless automobile here. What? No, bingo!
No, bingo! You gotta be kidding me! This is my impression of Joseph Montana eating some dates. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey, Jerry. Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice, you gotta try these dates. These dates are amazing. You gotta try some, Jerry. I'm telling you, Jerry. This is my impression of Angelina Jolie eating dates. Oh, wow. Brad. Brad, come here. I still want a divorce, but you gotta try these dates. Oh, man, it looks like someone dropped their cat food. Ew, it's all mushy. I can't believe I stepped in mushy cat food. Ew. Why do people keep stopping and asking, aren't you cold? How are you? Don't you want shoes? It's cold out. <laughs> Oh wow, it's really beautiful here. Look at that. Oh, a lot of the major environmental conflicts right now involve water. You got Standing Rock trying to protect their water from a pipeline. You have the Flint water crisis, which still isn't resolved. Um, and to be honest, every city in America has a lead, uh, yeah, has problems with lead in their water. Um, you test the water in every city, and more often than not, there's lead in it. In Rhode Island, they're trying to build a power plant. They're trying to build it in the town of Burrowville. Well, Burrowville doesn't have enough water and the city, or the town of Burrowville has said, you're not using our water for this power plant. So now this power plant, this company, Invenergy, has to go over to the neighboring town of Woonsocket and buy their water. Let me tell you, water is going to be the most important thing. It's going to be one of the most important things moving forward. You have to protect your water. If someone comes to you and offers you and offers to buy your water, don't sell it to them. It's priceless. Now that's, that's, what, you should use, that's what you should use an automobile for. Are you divorced? Protect yourself with a tiny hand attached to the side of your head. Yeah, you can get a tiny hand attached to your head too. Uh, it's Christmas Eve. Basically, this is the warmest Christmas Eve I've ever experienced while walking across America barefoot. I wonder if there's any gas stations called gas and kill the entire planet or something. Well, that's not a very good joke. But yeah, there should be a gas station called gas and death to earth. Mark, it's not fair that you're always crapping on gasoline and automobiles. Most of the people in America need the automobiles to survive. When I say that automobiles should all go drive off a cliff and die, I'm not actually, t I'm not talking about the people in the automobiles. I want all humans to live, and I don't want them to feel guilty for driving a car because I know they live in a society built, built on the automobile. Wow, our beef is, is never frozen, but it's always dead. Our beef is always a dead cow. You're always eating a dead cow when you eat it. One of those, one of these. Well, it's always important to leave out two cans of garbanzo beans for Santa when he comes. Let's check the bathtub. Oh, he did come! Santa came! Oh! Oh man, all, all these pine trees are looking at this pine tree and like, man, that's some, yeah, that's my goal, that's my life goal is to really party like this one does. Look at it. It's crazy compared to these ones. They're just hanging out all in a row and this one's just like, guys, relax. It's okay. Let's have some fun out here. I like the way these two crows are celebrating the holidays. Keep it up. If there's a heaven, it's this earth and we should do everything we can to make sure it exists after we're gone. You know, heaven isn't something we should be worrying about, like, heaven shouldn't be something we want to go to after we're gone. It should be something we want to make sure exists after we're gone. As bad as society or the structure of where we live can make us feel, it's important to remember the earth, where we all exist, is one of the, it's the most beautiful thing any of us know. Like, if you, had to make a, if you had to make heaven from scratch, you couldn't create something as beautiful and as perfect as earth. So, we should do everything we can to make sure, like I said earlier, that this heaven, this earth, exists after we're gone. Hey, do you all want to be on my YouTube? You want to be on my YouTube? Hey! Ah, oh, Jesus! That can't be right! Brass can only take engine coolant now? Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! I found a spoon! Oh no! I found a spoon! Grandpa! Grandpa, is that you? Are you a tree now? Uh, a friend just told me about a, a sacred water camp in the town of Live Oak. I guess there, there's a permanent camp to protest the pipeline they want to put from uh, Pennsylvania to Florida and uh, basically destroy, yeah, threaten the water sources of 20 million people. So I think I'm gonna head back into Live Oak and just see if I can find this camp. In some ways, walking barefoot across America is an art form, except I'm the only one doing it right now. Some other people should join me though. It'd be nice to have multiple artists practicing this art form. Wait, is this another one of those type of days that you'll never be able to get back? I'm in, uh, I'm at the sacred water camp here. No pipelines, no negotiations. No pipelines, no negotiations. No pipelines, no negotiations. No pipelines, no negotiations. Well, we shut down an intersection. They, they rerouted all the traffic from this intersection because 
We were just saying we want clean water. Protect our water! Protect our water! Protect our water! Protect our water! I'm gonna really miss this camp um, and everyone here. I wish I could stay forever. But I got this stupid other obligation of walking across the country, so. The water protectors of Earth have revitalized me. I'm back out here across America barefoot. There should be a credit card where you, you earn points for not using it. Every day you don't use it, it gets more points. And then those points can be uh, turned into money that is then donated to uh, an organization of your choice. So then, yeah, by not using money, you're actually raising money for someone that actually needs it. I guess the sun's coming up for the first time in 2017. It's funny. The last time I walked across America, it only took me 81 days. And, well, it's day 81 now, and I still got a long way to go. <laughs> Looks like someone's trying to tell every, show everyone how rich they are. They really went out of their way to be like, hey, we got money. Well, looks like uh, we got some water here. We shouldn't be wasting water. Wow, people really don't like to drink all their water. Oh, this one's leaking. If I just start drinking water I find on the side of the road, maybe I don't even have to carry water with me. I wonder what kind of substandard worker conditions that go on inside this building. I've zoomed in. Come on, do better camera work, Mark. Do better. Why are you? Are you zoomed in right now? Are you zoomed in? Well, my New Year's resolutions this year is to drink water and uh, plastic bottles I found on the side of the road. Why don't you, know? Why don't you know everything? Oh, just if you want corn, dial that number. You want to lose your screw toucher? I got a screw toucher right here. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> Look, I got a wrench. <laughs> How much further is it? What? 2,000 miles? What's that? Like an hour? <laughs> oh! You got, you got the right idea! Hey, my name's Mark Bomber, and I'm a weak individual. There's a lot of weakness trapped inside me, and it feels really good to admit that. I encourage everyone else out there who's feeling weak to be honest and admit that they are, that there's weakness inside them as well. I love you, body, but there's so much more in you. There's so much more in you. I love you so much, but you got so much more in you, in you than what you've done so far. So much more. Well, I just looked at Twitter. Man, come on. Find something deep inside yourself better than Twitter. Everything inside of you is better, stronger, more resilient, greater, more beautiful than Twitter. Find that something inside of you and go to it. Each one of us has things inside of us that are so significantly better than scrolling through your Twitter feed that it's a shame that we just ignore them. Look, I found a pink block. This is the missing piece. This is the missing piece for my journey. Look at it. Oh. I found the missing piece to the journey. Now I'll definitely make it. This is why I've been looking for it the whole time. Hey, um, where am I? I don't know. Where am I? Where's my pink Lego? Where'd my pink toy go? Where'd my pink... Blocko. Hey, I didn't make it quite as far as I wanted to yesterday, but today's a new day and I'm still out here trying to battle back all the weakness deep inside me. <laughs> That's my fake laugh, okay? Don't trust it. I wonder what the weirdest way to save the planet would be. Um, you know, I've often heard people like come up with really rational ideas of how we can work together to save the planet, but I wonder if there's like some really strange way to save the planet. I'm not talking about like micro technologies or like injecting the atmosphere with particles that block out the sun that's not the answer and we should never go in that direction i mean one weird thing i could do one weird thing even stranger than walking barefoot across the country is if i cut off both my feet and then walked across the country that would be that would it's hard to have hope right now but uh i guess you just gotta keep going i don't know what else there is to do hello feet are you bored feet are you bored with me right now no mark mark we we really like what we're doing every step's a new journey haha <laughs> because uh yeah we've never been out this way before it's kind of boring when you step on the same thing every day, but I guess there's some adventure in that as well. Hello, you beautiful droopy tree. How'd you get so beautiful? Where did you come from? Another planet? You're definitely from Earth? All right. Well, Earth's pretty great. I have to say that. If you came from Earth, and Earth is pretty great, and uh, we should probably do everything we can not to mess it up. Hey, hey Mark, uh, guess what? I can't live without you. I can't live without you, so don't go anywhere, Mark, okay? I can't live without you, alright? Oh, you lied about climate change! You Forkin. drilled the earth until it became unstable and you got paid! Fork you! Well, we have, we have some beautiful trees here growing in the water. I love you trees. I love you so much. The refugee crisis of the world is only going to get worse as the world gets worse, as climate change gets worse. Water levels are going to rise, island nations are going to disappear, and people are going to be displaced and they'll need somewhere to go. Uh, and I think it's only fair that as one of the nations that is the leading cause of climate change, that we take in the refugees of the pla from, from the places where their worlds are disappearing because of the way we live our lives. Peace, pilgrim! Ah, love mounds. 
Love mounds. Ah, love mounds. Love mounds. We are in the midst of one of the greatest social experiments this world has ever seen. Yeah, basically, uh, we're headed towards the end of the world, and um, uh, humans, as long as they've as long as they've existed, have never witnessed that. So, it should be fun, right? Peek at this gated community. They must really hate humanity, locking themselves away uh, out from the rest of the world. Yep, nothing says afraid to be alive like a, a gated community. Should I walk through this? Uh, what happens if you walk through the uh, the this what? Uh, is I'm gonna die? Am I gonna die? Are they gonna kill? Whoa! Maybe I should take a shower. What's this thing called? A car wash? I thought I might die if I walked through here, but solar, solar panel. Definitely the future home of a bunch of crap that people will end up buying that they end up not really wanting. Probably they're probably building a Starbucks here, and then like a Papa John's over there, and then back there they'll do like a Lowe's or a Costco or some other crap. Someone chained these balloons to these automobiles, and now all they want to do is just get away, and they can't. That's so sad. I guess the lesson is. Uh, don't turn into a balloon that gets chained to a car and is stuck with it and can't control their own life or something. They anyone uh, lose a red crayon? They anyone lose a red crayon? They anyone lose a red crayon around here? They anyone missing the red crayon at all? Red crayon? Anyone missing a red crayon? You missing a red crayon? Is anyone, is anyone in Tallahassee missing a red crayon? I wonder if I'm in the newspaper. Oh, hey, look. Look who made the, look who made the news. Maybe I should start loitering. Whoa! Look at this giant wrench! I found a giant wrench! <laughs> I guess, uh, as the old saying goes, if you find a giant wrench, uh, throw it in the stream. Now I, now I have at least, uh, uh, 22 hours of straight good luck. And that's just how the saying goes, if you find a wrench, throw it in the stream for 22 hours of straight good luck. I feel guilty for throwing that wrench in the river. I'm sorry, river, that I threw a wrench into you. You did not, yeah. I know you're just a tiny stream, but you didn't deserve to get a wrench thrown into you. And I hope you can forgive me. I messed up. I thought the I thought the I thought the saying was. Oh hey. No, I'm definitely good. Yeah, I'm just going barefoot. I'm going cross country. It's day 89 of Barefoot Across America. I'm Mark Bomber, and you know what? I feel I'm, I'm really proud of myself because it was below freezing last night. I still slept outside. I slept outside every day of 2017. I haven't showered yet this year. It's this is an amazing year so far. So uh, I love you all. I hope you have a great day. Is are you sure my feet don't hurt because I'm walking barefoot across America? I haven't really, I haven't really been kicking any, I haven't really been kicking anyone's butt. Is that you, Dad? Dad, is that you? Oh, no. I'm actually supposed to go back to work tomorrow, but obviously, <laughs> I'm not going back to work tomorrow. I got my leave of absence extended, so, um, yeah, I thought I could do this whole trip in three months, and, well, didn't get anywhere close, so, I'm gonna keep trying somehow to do this and see what happens, but, uh, yeah. Part of me wishes I was just going back to work tomorrow, returning to regular life, but there's still something out here for me to figure out. I wonder why these trees never go to war. Uh, one rule of thumb that I think would be good to if everyone followed would be, uh, if you feel like physically hurting someone, you should wait at least a thousand years before you act on that desire to physically hurt them. These trees, yeah, look at these. They're, they're wise old trees, all right. Unlike this car, what is this, a Jeep Cherokee? <laughs> Nothing wise about that. What's this? Talk to someone you love, blackmail somebody to kill themselves? What? What is this? Social media, good or evil? I guess it's some Bible course on whether social media is good or evil. <laughs> There's one question here. Have you ever gone on a website that you knew you shouldn't have and the person answered yes? Chad. Chad answered yes. He's gone on a website he knew he shouldn't have. It's okay, Chad. Look at this stick. It's like, hey, I exist. Recognize me. Recognize me, I exist. I didn't want to have to bring this up, but I don't know any other way to reach people, you know? I don't know how to re reach everyone in the world other than to just admit the fact that I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus. I've returned to Earth. I've returned to Earth to save it. Hey, I'm Jesus. What? Stop and hang out. Wow, I finally made it to another time zone. That took long enough. I walked, bare I walked barefoot out of the Eastern time zone. Whoa, I walked barefoot out of the Eastern time zone. Welcome back to Earth, Moon. Last night, another town sold their people's water to a corporation. The town of Johnston, Rhode Island sold its water, its people's water, to a corporation so they can build a power plant. This has got to stop. Why is a town, why is the town of Johnson selling its people's water to a company that's going to build a power plant and ruin the earth? Enough. Stop selling water to corporations. Hello. Did you did you realize that the earth is the earth's temperatures are rising and that we're all in trouble and that these corporations keep putting pipelines out everywhere and that um our water's in danger because of it? Yeah, it's really crazy. We got to protect our water. 
All right, I'm glad you know. I'm just spreading the word, so thank you. Thank you. That went well. Cool. She knew. Now we got to keep spreading the word to all the other gas stations. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, if I wasn't sure if you're aware, but um, all the animals are dying around the world and the glaciers are melting and uh, people, less and less people have access to clean drinking water. They're, they're the real climate warriors. Yeah, these are the real environmental warriors. Look at them. Protecting the earth, not taking more than they need. The green is called Candy Horse. Welcome to Candy Horse Lane. Hey, it's Candy Horse Lane here. Whoa! Don't let anyone tell you that. Don't believe people that tell you things. <laughs> don't believe people that tell you things. Yeah! We should all be using Pinterest to save the world, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's what we should be doing with our lives. Hey, what can you do today to slow down the destruction of Earth from humanity? Humans, humanity. I can't really tell. What are you, an eagle or a pigeon? Hi. That guy's gonna put me in the news. Well, that guy, he came and took pictures of my feet, so now my feet, my feet will be on the news. Um, uh, I'm actually not walking across America. Um, uh, I'm just headed to Bonnaroo. Remember when Chipotle had all that gangrene in their burritos or something, and everyone was getting sick? Oh, let's see if I made, let's see if I made the news. Oh. Hey, there I am. I made the, I made the front page. Oh, I wonder how quick I would die if I went in Little Critter's Pet Shop. Probably like three seconds. Um, are you asleep yet? Why aren't you asleep yet? Is there a train? There, I think there's a train or a giant bear. There might be a giant mechanical bear outside. Or it could be a train or it could be a giant mechanical bear. But you should get to sleep. You've had a long day. What? I'm just going barefoot. Okay, all right, I'll take yeah, no, it's just part of my journey. I'm going, I'm actually going cross country. Trees, do you have any messages to the racist, fascist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic uh, people that are trying to kill the environment and the world in general? Well, I guess they are growing, what are they growing in there? They're growing leaves over there? And there's the alien pods? You can't see! Yeah. This could be the murder weapon! This is probably definitely the murder weapon! Yeah. Whoops. How did you exploit the American people to get this type of house on, in this type of property on this type of life? This is your life. You gotta do it or else someone else will get control of your life and use you and then you won't got a life anymore. I love you. I love you. Hello. I love you. I love you. Oh, this looks educational. What does the Bible say about homosexuality? The Bible condemns homosexual acts. What is this crap? Well, see you later. I love you. I love you. Hi, cows. Express your appreciation to every item in your life. And if you have an item that you can't express appreciation to, then maybe it shouldn't be in your life. I have giant gaps in the information portals of my brain. I have giant gaps in the informational hole of my brain. Oh, information brain portal. Oh. Hey, hey, fence. How you doing? Oh, yeah? You enjoying? Did you? Do you still have a lot of college loans too? Yeah. Yeah. You on a cross country ride? You're almost done. You're getting there. California. You don't need to eat nothing but a but a plant and stuff. I mean, I've walked. I've been out here walking cross country barefoot on nothing but plants. I'm still here. I'm still doing it. I'm getting stronger every day. What happens if I started? If I did an entire daily? Uh, if I did an entire day? A video that was just nothing but me going la, 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 la. But that's not much different than what you usually do, so Yeah, do whatever you want, Mark Ew Well, it's official, 2016 was the hottest year in human history And, um, I know, I mean, we're now in 2017 Which, uh, more, more than likely will be the hottest year ever, so Uh, yeah, it's getting hotter Ice levels are decreasing, glaciers are melting, they're never coming back uh, and we only have ourselves to thank. All this, ri all these rising temperatures are all human induced. Uh, don't believe any noise that says otherwise. Welcome to the welcome to the end of another day. My name is Mark Bomber, and I I spent the day walking across America again. Well, oh, the flash is on. Anyway, uh, well today's a big day, day 100 of barefoot barefoot across America. Well, this is where I slept last night on this piece of astroturf or this green carpet. Look at this guy. He's gonna do some sports right now. He's setting up to do a little sport. Up. Oh, he's no. Come on, do some sports. Do some, do the sports. Do some sports. Do your sports. Do it. Do the sports. Do it now. Yeah, he did sports. Get these, get these pipelines out of here. Hey, the language of capitalism. We now officially have a president who does not believe in climate change. He wants the world to burn so he can profit. We have a president who hates women, who discriminates against women, who physically abuses women.
We have a president who hates minorities, a president who wants to make minorities suffer. We have a president who hates disabled people, a president who does not want to help people when they are in need. All he wants to do is profit. If you support this man, you do not support human life on this planet. Plain and simple, you do not support the future of Earth as a planet. To anyone that supports this president and his racist policies, you want to, you want to uh, hurt innocent people, people that are suffering, come at me. Come at me. Oh, horses. A field of horses. The sliced apple farm. Your ignorance is killing people!